The 135 apartments in this complex are slated to be short-term rentals. Now, they don't say if it's the 30-day minimum or if it could just be like basically an Airbnb apartment complex, which would be the first ever in downtown San Diego. I am standing on the southwest corner of 10th and Island in San Diego's East Village neighborhood across from a future eight-story 135 apartment apartment complex that used to be the two-story Mead Durkett office building, just to let you people know exactly where we are. We're doing rentals again. Why are we doing rentals, you ask? Well, there's really not that many condo buildings of any going up right now, but what makes this project so interesting is the 135 apartments in this complex are slated to be short-term rentals. Now, they don't say if it's the 30-day minimum or if it could just be like basically an Airbnb apartment complex, which would be the first ever in downtown San Diego. What are you talking about? In San Diego, if you're in a condo building, you can't have more or less than a 30-day rental in any kind of condo building and also in apartment buildings the longer the lease the better you're seeing leases that they give you one month free if you sign a 15th month lease they want you to stay there as long as possible where this place could be a daily you know basically a hotel like a marriott extended stay or something like that and i'm curious as well just because how do hotels feel about that i don't know that's a good question I don't know. They're not saying exactly what the short-term rentals are. My interpretation would be, you know, nightly stays at a cost. Um, but also what's interesting too is they do have a little bit of amenities in the building, including a rooftop deck and then a rooftop gym. There's also going to be two levels of subterranean parking. So it, it feels like it lives like a residential apartment complex, but as an Airbnb. And again, this would be the first time in downtown San Diego a project like this exist super fast recap eight stories 135 apartments two levels of subterranean parking we got a rooftop deck and we have a, a rooftop gym what's also great about this location is you're located just two blocks north of peco park and the san diego padres who have been killing it and are slated to do really really well again this year so maybe people come down for the game stay in the airbnb apartment complex and then head back to wherever they are living my name is David Spiewak, Coldwell Banker Realty, a year ago to guy for all things San Diego, including short-term rentals, maybe not short-term rentals, and of course, real estate.